Octagon game. Um, I'm gonna play a little experimental silly deck. Um, I'm doing Stark Fealty and I put as much targeted. Well, I'm, I'm not playing uh, Tears of Lease, but I put as much kill and high claim as I can. I just want to see what that strategy does. If that even. Is something that's gonna work. Um, I played one game earlier on where it was like you get four, you can get four claim, but I don't know. I haven't played that in a long time. <clears throat> All right, let's see what I get here. Arya is really good. That's actually really nice. Grey one's very nice. Hmm, would been would have been nice to draw one economy location. Drew a bunch of mains. Pretty much every main but Rob I drew. Um. Uh, when I say mains too, I don't know. It depends. On, some people think main as high cost. <laughs> I just kind of think of them as really good unique characters. Like Arya only costs three, but in my mind I call her main because she's super strong. So I don't know. People's main is means something else to mine, I guess. But I am going to mulligan, I think. Um, yeah. Probably a bad idea, but I want some economy. All right, this is what I like to see: bunch of military icons. So I could set up two Darwin pups, uh, him in case I draw. So let's do this. Two, four. I should probably set up the dupe. I can reduce his cost though. And I, I wouldn't be able to trigger his ability. Two, four, six, eight. Hopefully, I draw some target to kill here. Good, he is very light in the military. Let's see what I get. Uh, that's good. And in economy, that's good. Hopefully, I draw put to the sword. I'm playing three. For the north, I'm playing three, two. Didn't draw one. It's unfortunate. Might need to not. Usually, I would play sneak attack the first two plots and just do military, but I might need to just set up here since I didn't draw any targeted kill. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for the sneak attack anyway. Yeah. He's playing no agenda, that's interesting. Um, let's see if I get targeted. No, two limited locations. Not what I wanted. All right, um, five. Kind of feeling now this deck work, you gotta have the perfect storm of like Grey Wind and a targeted kill. Like, I would really like either I would like a targeted kill, either two targeted kills or a claim razor and a targeted kill first round, but that didn't happen. 
Um, let's do this. He might have a treachery in his hand. Maybe I should have let him go first. Hopefully he'd spend all his money. Uh, let's see, I got three gold left. Probably play him. Uh, or him. Yeah. That three strength military would be nice. Oh, I forgot this works on any star card. I need one gold for put to the torch. Um, yeah, I don't want to do this now, but I'm. Uh, let me think here. Does this get any star card? No, it gets a character. So brand probably, but no. Nah. I should be able to win the military by five or more. So I'll probably get to trigger this. I'm gonna get raped on the intrigue and the power challenge though. There's Tyrion, money making machine. not going to be making much gold off of me though. I'm, my ideal situation is he spends all of his gold here and whatever he has in his hand for ambush or events he saves for when he gets gold of Tyrion. I don't want him to have any cancel on his hand, especially treachery. If he's playing Lannister only, he's prob probably has treachery times three. That's like pro that's close to being the best event in the game, besides maybe put to the sword. Must be thinking. Fine. If he has uh, tears least, there's nothing I really care about losing. Everything's fine. Uh, what is this? Sure. Alright, so I have to win by five or more. So, he has no locations for me to get rid of. So that event's pretty worthless right now. Uh, let's see. So he could have six. These guys are three strength each. Gotta go in with him. Let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven. And I just want to oppose his military. Again, I don't care about losing anything on the board right now. I think I do. I'll do this after all challenges are done. Wish Stark Straw was just won a military by X strength or something and draw a card instead of what it is. So Tyrion will be dead, thankfully. I don't have to ever worry about him. <sighs> All 
credit. Makes sense. I probably overcommitted a little. Let's kill Tyrion. Denise gotta kill two more. Probably this dude and maybe Tickler? No, either the Tickler or Lannisport. Okay. I probably kept him around. I'm playing, he doesn't know this, but I'm playing times three ice. Yeah, I would have probably kept that. There's just so many good attachments in the game right now. Alright, let's see if he does his challenges right. I am done. So I think I'm gonna do sneak attack again next turn. How much cards are in his hand? Plenty. Opposed. This is the problem I'm gonna have with the deck, I'm sure, is just a lot of unopposed. Especially on entry. Good thing I didn't grab Catlin, so I need to play her next turn. I was actually surprised he played Tyrion. I, that didn't. That was a mistake. I think I would have just held on it. I had ice out, so I don't know why he did that. I'll win this. I got one for Dom. Alright, I need, really need to figure out what standall was. I used to know what it was. I thought it was F5, but it doesn't seem to work. Uh, march to the wall. Uh, he'd have to get rid of something decent. That's actually pretty. Looks pretty good. I can get rid of a dire wolf pup easily. Um, I think I'll go for sneak attack again. I really hope I draw a targeted kill this time. Dang! Um, good call, good call. Probably want to say he's first. Because I won't be able to do any challenges. Really. There is a tardy kill. But I have to win an Intrigue, which I don't know is going to happen here. He'd have to let, he'd have to be silly enough to kneel his. No, I forgot to trigger this, and I would have gotten Bran. Crap! I really dislike that card location. It's so hard to remember because you want to do it at the end of challenges, before challenges ends. It's a bummer. I would have gotten Bran and one more card. Or I would have, yeah, I would have had Bran in my hand and then gotten to draw another card instead of him. It's really unfortunate. Hopefully Bran can cancel an event here though. And he will have insight or, uh, yeah. Which is okay. If I can win a power challenge. There's a location for me to blow up if he doesn't strip my hand.
It's a good plot. I'm so glad that that got limited to one. Like, I would be playing two of that in my Lannister deck if I could. Alright, three gold. He may or may not have shenanigans up his sleeve here. Alright, five for me. Let's see, let's get this puppy out. Gosh, there we go. So she'll cost one. And this can cancel any annoying event he has. Again, if he doesn't have treachery in his hand. That card gives me nightmares. Fealty's been actually working pretty good so far. There's a lot of loyal cards. He can't... Well, he can do Intrigue for four. Which is fine. I might trigger Winterfell Castle just to maybe get a Chud in my hand, hopefully. Just for Intrigue defense. Put... I think this put to the torch is actually more important right now than, or not put to the sword, put to, yeah, put to the torch is more important right now than my put to the sword, because in the future I don't want him double intriguing, that's going to be unopposed, well I have Catelyn, but, alright he's doing no challenges, I'm assuming he has tricks up his hand, sleeve here. So he can't trigger any card abilities with her when she's out, so intrigue. Let's see if he forgot that. Probably gonna get wildfired next turn. figured he forgot about her ability. Uh, you can still do ambush, I believe. Yeah. I'm not sure what he would have done there. Uh, hear me roar, I guess. Yeah, probably. Alright. Claim two, I guess. Yes, thank you. Tears Elise. I'll give him one second. Sound like an asshole. All right. Okay, that was pretty good. Um, is this reveal? Yeah. And that goes to my hand. That was a waste of two, well, not a waste of two claim, but uh, I would have liked to done a military there. I think I, he'll probably, um, well, yeah, he has to wildfire me this turn, I would think. Um... I could do the double military. Could do March the Wall since he's probably gonna wildfire me. And then I could discard Bran instead of killing him. I think I have two copies of Bran. That's the right call, is playing March the Wall. But the fun call would be wins a winner and try to go really go for it. But I'm gonna do the safe thing and play. March the wall.
Nope. Well, that's annoying. <sighs> I could have. Den wins a winner. Overthought it. Um. Let's see, I wonder what he'll pick here. Yep. All right. I'll discard a dire wolf. They are three strength, which was nice. That one just got weaker, but that's fine. Alright. Oh, I should be I should have uh not two gold, I should have four gold. Let's see here. Oh he forgot to trigger the tickler. That's a bummer, that's a fun card. He would have gotten rid of... Mm, mm, no, I would have discarded King's Road. But again, I would have discarded King's Road. Uh, no loyal cards, so that's the first round. I don't have any loyal. I don't want to go nuts here. I want to play Arya, for sure. Let's do that. Uh, let's peek at this. Sansa, that's funny. She would have been... I don't know if she would have been that useful. But she can really rack in the power. So I have three gold left. So I need to save all my money now. Which is fine. I'll put this out. King's Rogue can be Intrigue Defense. I gotta try to remember Bran now. One thing I do, this won't be an octagon thing, but what I do when I play in real life, I always put all my duplicates, of course I show them first, but I put them face down underneath my cards. I, I Like if you see uh, Summer here, it's really, really dumb. This look, this, I don't like this, the way, I mean the, the cards look nice, but I don't like where the titles lie, especially for duplicates. So I always tend to do what I kind of do with Aria over here, but with my normal cards is when I'm playing in person is I always put the duplicate face down I don't know it, it makes things easier all right so let's military here and go freaking nuts um, this is pretty this will be huge so Arya he could ambush so I think I'm gonna go a little nuts here let's do I could do intrigue first too I have brand to cancel any events like here me are let's do um let me check with him. Pretty challenge actions. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I gotta go nuts here, eight, nine, just in case. Stealth, Jamie. Oh, he has no gold. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh, well. Interesting. Let's uh, do this. Oh, I flip this. Held ship down by accident. Yeah. 
That's a bummer. Just to rub salt in the wounds, I guess. That was kind of a douchey thing to do, but... Yeah, I think, um, I, I think you need, you, I don't think you can do mono house. I think after the, this is just, <laughs> let's just say I'm guessing. This is a guess. We'll just say I'm guessing. Um, after the first cycle, I think you can get away with doing a mono house and no agenda, like no fealty. But right now, it's pr it'd be pretty hard to build a deck with um, no fealty or no banner. I think fealty is there's there's plenty of banner decks that are probably better than fealty. But if you're only going one house, you need to stick with the fealty. Um, so uh, that that's gonna be it for this guy. I'm probably gonna talk to this guy a little bit longer, but. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing a different side of Stark, uh, narrow-minded uh, kind of Stark. So um, uh, see you guys around. Enjoy your 2.0 games.